All right, I got a great video for you today. Timeless aluminum safety razor. It has a great price point at $49, $69 if you want the razor stand as well. And it's a pretty good looking razor. Now, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between all the other aluminum safety razors that I have because a lot of people are interested in them because you get a high quality razor at a very affordable cost. And in my mind, the, what this is going to be going up against, at least in my head, is Henson Shavings AL13 Plus, Plus Plus, or Plus Plus Plus. Go figure. All right, so I'm going to use everything baseline. If you've watched my channel at all, you know I always go, I've been going with these Persona Comfort Coats. These blades right here are medium aggressive on your face for sharpness, and they tend to do a very good job with any safety razor I use. I'll be using Ariana and Evans Cathedral. This is the Ultima formula. Um, this stuff is awesome. And Don't forget to subscribe and help a brother out. The Time and Trusted Adjustable Shaving Brush by Timeless Razors. And this is the Golden Nib, the 24 millimeter knot. This thing's softer than my, the T3 is a 26 millimeter knot and the uh, Golden Nib by AP Shave Co. is a 24. So you can kind of see the difference in the knot sizes. But don't forget, that is the, you know, how 24 and 26, that's what's measured down here, not up top here. I wish they would rate brushes with how many fibers it has in it compared to the diameter of the knot. I mean, to me, that would make more sense. Uh, let's start this shave out. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my face here. With any synthetic knot, you just dip it down in your water bowl here. I like to wring it out, grab my puck of soap here, and I just go in and go around it a few times to get some of that soap, and then I just start painting it on my face. Right? If you need some more soap, go back down. It's not hard to do. You're gonna be going through so little of this soap by doing a face lather that going back down here, maybe once, twice, three times, whatever, um, is not a problem. Now, after I do that, I'm gonna put the tips of the brush in the water, about an eighth of an inch, shake it a little bit, break the backbone, and start creating a lather. You can see how good this Adriana and Evans is, it's so good. Great company and just what a super, super good soap. All right, so I got that on my face. Now I'm just gonna let that sit on my face a little bit while I load up this razor. Now, this timeless razor is a traditional three-piece razor. They give you a washer, but I always tend to lose those and I don't use them. I just put them in the side because they generally go in my sink basin. And uh, It being a three-piece razor, there's the back plate of it. Okay, it pulls apart. Wow, what a very tight fit. And that's one thing you can get from Timeless Razors is you get their unique locking system. It's kind of like the Henson's, the Henson Shaving does it as well with that bar system that goes into this base plate here, it gives it four points of contact, which is crazy good precision. And that's what Timeless is trying to do with their razors as well. Now this is their least expensive razor that they make, but I gotta say their aluminum slant that I did a review on, I don't know, like a month ago or two, that is damn, like the only slant that I would use thing was so good. So just like any other three pieces, put your uh, razor blade on there. See those talonches are so tight. Put your base plate on. And you can see the writing, you know it's loaded correctly. And then put on the handle. Now this razor has a blade gap of 0.45 millimeters. It's a neutral blade angle at two ten thousandths of an inch, which is crazy good. That's damn near neutral. Any other company would 
probably just call that neutral. No, these guys don't. These guys build razors to last. The knurling on it, very aggressive. It's got a big pull on it. Here's an R41 to kind of give you an idea how big it is. Now, this is the Grande. Look how big that handle is. So if you got big hands like I do, that's why I like this open comb one so well, because it's so huge. And look how big this thing is compared to it. Just a little shorter, but the same amount of girth in the handle. I really like that right off the bat. Now, am I going to like this razor? I don't know, but with the scalped head on it here, that's a nice feature as well. It's got a logo on the back of it that's etched in. This aluminum razor is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. All their materials are sourced in the United States as well. So, I mean, these guys really go all out to make sure they use everything made in America. And like this one is as well, this razor is completely made in America. Now that I got that loaded up, I'm just gonna go back down here, put the tips in. Get this a little bit more plush for my face. Now my neck is sensitive, so I'm gonna spend more time down there than anywhere else. But I got five days of growth worth of beard growth here. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. Different feel to it. Weighs 47.4 grams. Yeah, it feels very mild. Yeah, it, it's very, it's a very mild razor. Wow, really good though. Okay, let's do this side. Having to press a little harder than I normally would even with a Henson. A lot of growth. Maybe I should have put a different blade in it for the for the other side just to see if I couldn't bump it up a little bit. It feels very mild. It feels like maybe like a Mercur 34C. Like that's how mild and how much growth it's taking off with this razor. It's very mild though. No problem getting underneath the nose. Okay. All right, let's give that a rinse. All right, so first pass, pretty darn good. It took a lot to go through that, you know, that much growth. I think it might be overextending this razor just a little bit, but I'm gonna do two passes, so it shouldn't have a problem. But it just seemed very mild. Love this soap, it just fires back up to a perfect lather on the second pass. Yeah, this across the green pass is gonna be like an everyday shave. Yeah, and it's really good. 
I don't even think I'm gonna get around my, yeah, might as well. Okay, get over here. Yeah, it's definitely doing good. Yeah, super, super duper mild. Okay, let's give that a rinse. Okay, going in with my Parker Alum Block here. This one comes with a case, I love it. Run it under some cold water. My face is soaking wet after rinsing it off. And just go in. Wow, no stinging whatsoever by that razor. I gotta say though, it, I think that was a little too much growth for it. Um, it seemed like I was having to press harder than I have with any other um, safety razor that I have. So, and it's very mild. I gotta say that it's very mild. It, it'd be, it'd be a great, it'd be a great razor for a beginner. Now I'm gonna go in with some Thayer's and I'm gonna give away this razor uh, to, enter, to, enter, to enter this contest. I'm gonna put some more on. It's awful dry, the sun's been out here in Ohio. Um, to enter this contest, in your comments, uh, just put hashtag Ohio Shaves Timeless and you'll be entered in to win this um, beautiful Aluminum masterpiece by Timeless. Cool thing is, Paul over at uh, Ariana and Evans sent me some splash too. I usually am not into splashes, but I'm trying to test them out now. So you know, you send me soap, send me, send me the aftershave too. Cause I'll try it. This scent is very good. I don't plan on wearing cologne today, and I'm just gonna rock this scent and see if I get any compliments on it. All right, and I have in the past. People like that smell, they always ask, what is that? And you know, I tell them. About this razor, well, it's very mild. I'm gonna put it up there with a Mercur 34C. It's not that aggressive. I. It's in that category. So if you're a beginner to a safety razor and you don't wanna buy junk you know, Mercur stuff that's made out of brass and you know, nickel plated, it wears off, they break all the time. Uh, this might be a razor that you could consider. I, I would consider. It's light, um, so you do have to take, at least with that much growth. The second pass would be like if you're doing an everyday shave for me, um, and it removed that growth very, very easily. Um, so I'd say it's more of a beginner razor or an everyday razor is what I would call this, an everyday razor. Um, is it, does it shave as well as their other safety razors? Um, I don't think so. I think they're, at least the titanium models that I've used, the TIE 95 open comb, the, what was it? The slim plate, the slim open comb at 0.5 millimeters. It, it, they don't, sh it doesn't shave like those. So don't think you're buying a $50 razor or 60 with a stand and think that you're gonna get, you know, a $400 shave or a $300 shave, you're not, you're just not. Um, that's why you pay more for the other razors. But it, I mean, for the price point, you know, it's $20 cheaper than the Henson shaving. Do I think it shaves as good as a Henson? Um, no, I think it falls short of that, but I'm going to have that review later on. That's why I wanted to shave with this razor because I'm gonna be doing a comparison of all the aluminum safety razors that I have just because you know they have a very low cost that you can get you know high-end razors companies that are making these safety razors now and most people don't want they don't want to buy the Mercur they don't want to buy a Parker you know they want to buy something 
that's made in America. And I get it. This is your guy right here. $50. Use the links in the description to, you know, help a brother out to pick one of these up and buy directly from the manufacturer, or you can pick them up on Amazon as well. They do have them on there. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help a brother out. And if you want to see more videos about timeless razors, just click right here. Might have been the wrong blade with it. I think if I would have gone with like a AccuTech, like the AccuForge or even the Med Prep blades that I just got, um, the AccuThrive, I think it would have did a better job on this side. But again, it was my unboxing and my review of this razor for the first time. Then I just think it was too much growth for it for this mild razor.